All right, let's roll. Um, thank you all for being here. Um, wrap up Saturday, and then we'll move on to, to K-State. On Saturday, we, we you know, the, the film kind of, you know, kind of my feelings after the game, we, we got beat by a better football team on Saturday. Um, didn't play anywhere close to good enough to win on either spe- – in, in, in two out of the three phases, special teams and offense. Um, neither one of those sides, you know, we came close to – to being able to compete at a level that would give us an opportunity to win. And uh, I think credit Oklahoma State. Did a, they did a lot of really good things in the game, and uh, and, and they were better than us on Saturday. Um, kind of recap, I think start with special teams. I think the positives are our punt coverage continues to be really good. Um, we down two punts inside the 10. Um, the negatives, you know, the big kickoff return in the, the opening six, uh, second half when we kicked off and they got the ball back to the 40. That really affected the field position there for the whole third quarter. And um, then, obviously, the fumble punt return was huge. You know, it was 10-3 game. Uh, we just got a, a three and out, and and that was big, led to a, led to a touchdown. Um, you know, offensively, it can be summed up as this. We just we lost one-on-ones. They got us in one-on-one battles, whether it's man coverage or up front, and, and we lost uh, way more than we won. Um, way too many negative plays. I think that's the that's – the, the story of that side of the ball is just lost one-on-ones and negative plays. Um, played behind the chains all day, and we're not a group that's built for that right now. Um, defensively, I thought we played well enough to win. That's the one phase that we, we did. We limited their run game, limited explosive plays. Um, and I think a couple of penalties hurt us. The late hit on the quarterback was the right call. You know, that went from a uh, – it was on a third down play. They would have had to kick a field goal there. It would have been, in worst case, 3-3. Three to three. Um we give them another set of downs, they score, make it 7-3 to three there. I think in the second quarter, that was big and it was a correct call. Then we had a late hit. We, we had them pinned down um, in the third quarter there, <coughs> excuse me, um, about 10-3. to three. And we punned the ball. We had them on the one and we let them get out. We had a late hit, um, which I'm not sure about that one. So, um, I think the other thing defensively, <coughs> excuse me, I got a little bit of a cold. I'm all good, but a little bit of cold. Um, all their touchdown drives are on short fields. So, that's kind of the wrap-up there. <coughs> yeah, I know y'all are going to give me a hard time about this damn cough. That's what I figured. <coughs> all right. Let's hold on. Oh, man. This cold's got me about like uh, Oklahoma State did. All right, I think I'm ready now. Kansas State, um, moving on to kind of what's next. They're playing their best football of the year. Three-game winning streak. Um, and credit to their to their staff, I think they uh, they went through a little downturn there where they lost three, and they've been able to, to turn it around. They've won their last three. And they're, really their last two games, Kansas versus TCU, uh, won decisively, you know, um, Going into Manhattan is a tough place to play. They've done a great job with that venue there. Really passionate fan base. You know, it, it very similar to ours, I believe. Um, <clears throat> it's really a tough place to play and uh, early kick. And so, um, if you look at them special teams-wise, they're always solid. I think that's something, and it goes back to uh, really the history of their program there since they got it turned with Coach Schneider, is they've done a tremendous job with their walk-on program. And, and their walk-ons show up on special teams. Um, they're really good. This year's no different. Um, they've got a really good specialist punter and place kicker. Um, their kickoff return team is special. You know, they've already returned two for touchdowns. Knowles does a really good job there. That's something that I think is going to be a really big uh, key in the game. And then their punt return, they've always done a nice job there too. Uh, the Brooks kid. <coughs> Who was who? I think he led our conference last year, and he's back and he's doing a really good job. Um, offensively, you know, I talked about this, and I've talked about this in the past. <coughs> I think their, um, I think their OC does a really good job, Messingham. Um, he really does as good as anybody that we play in matchups, and they've got a couple guys that are are really good one on ones. I think it starts with Deuce Vaughn, who you know, <coughs> second year player. He's a uh, they do a good job getting him isolated in the run game and the pass game, and they get him an empty. He's special. He make people miss. Um, really good player. We're going to have to ID him wherever he's at. Skylar Thompson's the biggest difference this year. When he's been healthy, they've played at a different level. He's a tough kid. He's a really good decision maker. 
I think he's completing 73% of his passes, so he's accurate. Um, <coughs> and he can ad-lib. He, he, he makes plays with his feet as well. And then they've got two really good receivers. I already talked about the punt returner, kickoff returner, Knowles and Brooks. And then they got good cohesiveness on their offensive line. Uh, not very many negative plays there. Uh, defensively, they changed their structure. Totally different look than what we played against our first two years. Um, 91's a great pass rusher. I don't want to do him any injustice by trying to get his name right. Um, but, man, he's got a great motor. Really respect how he plays. Um, the linebacker, Green, I think he's playing at a high level. And they're extremely long at corner. You know, that's the thing that sticks out about them that's a little different than everybody else in our league. They've got really good length. You know, they're six foot plus, you know, six three, six four, with a couple guys that play. And the McPherson is a really good downhill safety. You know, he's uh he was a he was really difficult for us to get to last year in black. And I mean, even in the three uh, safety system they're using now, uh, he's getting downhill, and making a bunch of plays. So they're playing well, and it's going to be a good, uh, really big challenge for us to go on the road. And so with that, I'll answer questions.